Welcome to episode 11 of Just One More Topic. I am Tridracius. Hang on, let, let me adjust that. Try, try that again. Oh, I am there we go. Tridracius. And I am Taborius from All Your Base. And we are here to talk a little bit about a... Yeah, it belongs to us. Or him. A poster script. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, featured game this week... Surprisingly, it's a sports game. Yeah, yeah, uh, NHL 13, because making a team of you and all your friends with max stats, playing a season and turning penalties off and injuries high, is just freaking fun. Another weird thing about it is that it's an EA game. Yeah. Huh. You know, I still think I like the 2K series better, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah. Go try it out sometime. It's just it's for all of you guys that... Either A, don't like sports games, play a hockey game. It's fun. And if you are a hockey purist and hate everything I just said, shut up. I'm having fun. Yeah, and that's what a game is supposed to be about, is having fun. So Sometimes. Yeah. Spec off the line, we're not looking at you. You are a whole different animal, and I applaud you for it. Okay. So, as you all know, and if you don't, well... I'm not sure how you missed it. Last week was PlayStation 4's announcement. We had the big blitz of everything going on. Now we're, we're hearing rumors that Microsoft is going to step in with a, an announcement. With hearing an, rumors? You know they're going to. Yeah, they're just form. like, okay, that was nice. Um, budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so now we're starting, to, we're starting to see actual progression. We're starting to see these two companies actually moving. Yeah, here we go, guys. It's time. It, the, the, yeah. the new generation is nigh. I hate it. Um, Wasn't ready for it this year. Microsoft, I, I think they're going to take a little bit of an approach of like what Sony did. I think they're going to go out on stage and they're going they're, they're going to make announcements. They're going to show off games. They're going to show off engines. They're going to talk about the future of Xbox. Yeah, they're probably going to do the same thing. Like, okay, we have a highly advanced processor and highly advanced chipsets. With highly advanced graphics. and But we're not going to tell you any more than that. Uh, but here's social sharing and our Connect functionality. We've got a... So what, what's, what's another word for share? We've, social interaction. There we go. Okay. You heard it here, um, folks. Patented. Oh, Microsoft. Sorry. <laughs> now you're going to have to come up with something. Um, or pay a lot of money. Yep. Second. Second option, please. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up and um, give me money. So I, I figure that they're gonna do they're gonna do that, and then at E3, that's where the battleground will be. No, honestly, I wish they would actually just do that. Like have the representative from Sony show up with like a shield and a spear. <laughs> Microsoft dude shows up with a double you know a double handed axe and just let's make a melee tournament out of it or melee, I, whatever you want to call it. I call it melee. Uh, but yeah, I mean like seriously, let's get a team. Versus a team and just have them go at it. Nintendo can officiate. Yeah, because really... They yeah, they're not in this fight right now. They're just no. not. Uh, the, the Wii U is just being absolutely overlooked now, especially after Sony announced the PS4, because a lot of people are like, so that's next generation. Okay. Well, and we stated you know, previously, uh, the, the Wii U was not a next-gen console. It's a catch-up to this generation. Although, you know, admittedly, the tablet's got some cool functions, like being able to just to go, oh, you want to watch Netflix? Okay. And just watch it on the, tab the tablet, but most tablets do that. Which um, Ubisoft came out and said that Watch Dogs is coming to the Wii U. Yeah. And that could be one of those games that actually... Yeah, being able to use that thing. I mean, if you guys didn't see the Watchdog demo, uh, or if you've been you living under a rock, a year to watch it twice. Yeah, or YouTube it, whatever. Anyway, go look it up. The whole premise of the game is basically you can, uh, with the the information age that we live in, everybody can be connected to snark 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 phones, uh, smartphones, to be able to uh, inventing all kinds of stuff. I'm for it. To be able to uh, hack in, you know, you're just walking around, you're getting information popping up everywhere, like bank account, what this kind of person is, blah, blah, blah. You know, it shows, okay, well, that guy's a rich jerk, so I don't like you. I just took your money. Here's an ATM. Your money is now mine. And then you can, like, save people, potential victims. You're basically a vigilante. With that tablet, that's going to have some cool freaking functionality. And I would be very, very curious as to, uh, you know, Microsoft with the Surface. They, they yeah. just recently launched Surface Pro. 
Sony's trying to do something with Vita and PS4 functionality. I'm sure Microsoft is going to do the same thing of trying to make the next Xbox. I'm so support. curious when Microsoft tries to get into the handheld foray. Well, with the Surface, they, they could they could try. Yeah, um, I think I think it's inevitable, but man, that's scary, dude. They're, it looks like they're experimenting with some portable devices to try to figure out how to face plan. I'll tell you that much. So far, the, the Surface and the Surface Pro are not doing well. So yeah, I, I think this is probably a guinea pig, though. Right. Um, who knows? Maybe with the next Kinect, they'll have a virtual handheld, where like a virtual controller, where you can just make it do whatever. Why don't they just go ahead? And with with the Wii, sorry, this just made me think. Why why with the Wii? Why isn't it just now the DS is your freaking controller? The 3D, I mean, like uh, whatever. Well, anyway, but yeah, like the Kinect is going to be a huge push. I mean, they yeah. always dump so much money into pushing the Kinect. And honestly, if they do it right, or worse. Like, have you seen like the specs on the the Kinect that'll come bundled with the new system? The the Elite specs. Yeah, and it has like six lenses and. Well, yeah, I mean, it's basically it's going to be able to adapt. Not only to more angles, but a better depth of focus for uh, so you don't have to be those of you the smaller living rooms don't have to be eight to ten feet away for prime. You can be you know it's saying you know it can read a six foot tall six foot two man at four to five feet away, which is which is good. Yeah, um, because the connect the the connect that we have this generation already had that pivot, but you know it was kind of more to the okay you're this tall now I'm gonna just stand here and stare at you. Without a good 10 to 12 foot space, it was really hard to play with more than one person. Um, and Microsoft is already showing with the current generation Connect voice control actually working. Yeah, they've been pushing that a lot. I mean, even since last year, their voice control, like they got rid of the small, uh, they initially were going to do like a small digit thing for the Connect where you could pull up an on screen keyboard and type. Minority Report. Yeah, only they didn't have wireless technology in Minority Report, seriously. Hmm. Seriously, like half the movie is him running up and down hallways getting a giant USB flash drive to plug it into somewhere else. Anyway, uh, but they've really been pushing the voice and face, face, facial, fecal, no, not fe fecal recognition, DNA, wow. facial recognition. I'm not the one having problems with grammar. Then. I don't speak that good. Sorry, I don't have a puppet anymore. Anyway, no, yeah, I think that's going to be interesting to make it quicker for turning on, whoop, 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 signed in. Uh, to be able to go, hey, Xbox, why don't you uh, make me a sandwich? And it go, okay, Bob. Well, it has to get your name right first. But um, Irrelevant. If it's making me a sandwich, you can call me whatever it wants. That was one thing that uh, I had problems with, with the Kinect, is that signing it, well, before the, the new dashboard update and the Kinect in interface, oh, God, being able dashboard. to sign in was fast. Yeah. Now, signing in is slow, and when you're having the Kinect try to register you, it has to warm up first. Yeah, the whole Metro freaking dashboard update wrecked the 360 interface in a lot of ways. I get it, advertising money, I totally understand. Totally understand that, but it bogs down everything. Uh -huh. There's got to be more. And maybe, you know, with extra processing power, maybe it'll be better. But still, it's just like... <sighs> I, I, find it, I find it hilarious that the PS3 struggled to run games like Skyrim. The 360 is having difficulties running advertisements. Oh, well, yeah, I'm started. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Ah, uh, uh, man. Weird. But they're motion advertising. I mean, like, they're, they're, yeah. I don't know. I hate it. I think most users hate it, but I totally understand the reason for it. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I mean, and that's a big thing. You guys have to give in. They're trying to make money. So spend it, and uh, maybe this will be better. I don't know. Um, Whatever. Well, spend it on things that that are good. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't just go to the don't just go to these digital stores and just start buying everything because you're like, I don't want advertising because then they're just gonna think, well, we're doing something right. So here's more advertising, you crazy man with a very high limit on your credit card. Yes. Hmm. So or girl, woman. With uh, with the next generation, androgynous the, the new Connect. Um, I I think it's way too soon for a new Halo. It'll definitely be way yeah. too soon for a new Gears of War since it's coming out next month for the 360. Which is going to put their launch in a precarious position. Yeah, because, because they're not going to be launching with any megaton. I mean, they might have Fable. They might have. And to be fair, this past before. this past generation didn't have any huge. I mean, yeah. Cameo was exclusive, but I mean, it didn't have any you know blockbuster hits coming out. And they sold just fine. So it's perfect Dark Zero. Shut up. I hate your face. I hate you so much. You, what did I tell you about using that word in my store? But they're three. 
shut up. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Speculation. Um, that works. Yeah. Kind of. We'll, we'll likely return to this, this topic again because there's, there's a lot. This is a very interesting, exciting time. I'm hoping, well, Sony and Microsoft, I'm hoping that they push more than just graphics, and I think that's kind of what they're wanting to do, Sony, with their whole sharing and all that kind of stuff, of being able to, to connect their, their fan base together. Microsoft, I'm sure, will also be pushing something very similar. Yeah, it's all going to be going to social media and, like, requiring constant Internet activity, and because the watermark graphics, thing is retarded. It's the, not going to happen. But that'll be that'll be another one. Yeah, yeah. We're we're out of time. Yeah. So uh, this has been episode eleven, 11. of just one more topic in all your base. I'm Tri Dracius from Just One More Level. I'm Taborius from All Your Base. So oh, hang on, special announcement. This is Chompy. Say hi. Like him on Facebook. Facebook.com slash chompitlouder. Louder. That's it. That was it. So